Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. Welcome, welcome, welcome to anybody that may be new. And you already know what it is to all of those who are returning. Love is love is love. I want to do a general reading for my beloveds. Um, I've been missing you all like crazy. Um, as I explained in the form of reading, I've been doing a lot of internal work, a lot of grounding myself, my energy, and really working on some new products because I'm about to launch my um, my shop on Etsy again. So I've really been putting boots to the ground, getting some items um, completed, getting candles done. I've been ordering a lot of materials uh, so as to make more trees and other items. I'm thinking of making crystal crowns, but I'm still contemplating on that. Um, I have one here that I made, um, and this is made with um, angel aura, angel aura quartz, and it is really like, um, I love it. I love them. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of seeing if that's something that I want to add to my shop um, in addition to the other items that I have. Um, so I'm just kind of mastering my craft right now. I'm going to be doing some more wands. Um, making a couple of wands. I found some beautiful branches um, out in nature and a huge staff that I am working on currently. Um, so there's been a lot of working on my side of things. I hope you all have been also just really studious, really working on yourselves, uh, really enjoying yourselves, enjoying life, taking things light, like not taking things too, too much to heart. You know, life is too short to be stressing over the, the mundane um, but um, I wanted to do this reading because I know I hadn't been putting out many videos as of late. So this will be a deep dive. Uh, crazy thing is I was recording a video um, earlier and it just shut down on me because my battery died and I was almost done. It was a two hour reading. Um, it was a beautiful reading too. Oh my goodness. So it'll be interesting to see if those same messages come out in this next reading. Um, that were in the former reading, but everything happens for a reason. I don't cry over spilled milk. I just pick it up and keep boosh. So for anyone that may be new, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. Um, I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively and I incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully with what comes out in the tarot cards. Um, right now we have uh, the Notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, Total, uh, and Mary J. Blige singing One More Chance. Um, so it sounds like somebody wants you to give them another chance. Somebody wants you to give them um, another chance to shoot their shot with you. Uh, maybe you feel like, you know, um, you gave somebody many chances. Uh, you, I'm getting like that wounded warrior where you gave somebody chance after chance and then they just, every single chance they blew it, you know. Um, and maybe somebody feels this is their last chance. Uh, to to get you to to convince you that they love you to convince you that they want you um, maybe you're getting another shot at something that you thought was a lost cause uh, whether that be in love whether it be in a, another chance to to get another career um, to get that promotion uh, to get a car loan to get a business loan uh, but there's another chance another shot at something um, but I am strongly feeling like somebody wants another chance with you um, and it's going to be up to you. It's going to be completely your decision uh, because I do feel as if there was someone who could have um, burned a bridge with you or maybe they, you know, took you for granted at some point in time. And now they're realizing what kind of foolish mistake that was. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to do some house cleaning. Um, my readings are general first and foremost. So that means uh, eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Uh, know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, this is also going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you see this video in your feed, whenever you feel compelled to push, click, play on the video, that was divine timing. And there's no perfect timing than divine timing. So let's go ahead, do some house cleaning, call upon the elements of water fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Obun, Mama Oya, 
to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, the vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So right now we have Jodeci and this is called Come and Talk to Me. So somebody really wants to come and talk to you. And I feel like you want them to come and talk to you because you're not making no, no, no move to talk to anyone. I feel like because you've given someone chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity, and they chose to blow it, um, you're not making that initial step. You're not reaching out. You're not reaching back. You're not doing any of that. If somebody wants to speak to you, they're going to have to come and talk to you to straighten things out and to iron something out with you. Uh, because I feel like you feel like you've exhausted all possibilities with that person and you just don't have it in you any longer. But I do feel somebody really wants to come and talk to you. They feel very compelled um, and almost like uh, this will be their last chance to rectify a situation with you or to correct, I should say, a situation with you. Um, so let's see what we're going to pull. We're going to obviously start off with my numerology deck. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We got abundance here. That's beautiful. And this is an all pink card. So I feel like you're going to be very fulfilled with whatever this is that you're getting in abundance, whether that be love, whether that be finances, um, you're having an abundance of something. Uh, I feel someone also feels this abundance around you, like they feel like you're very prosperous, um, that good things always happen to you, that you manifest things uh, very quickly, like you're a master manifester. Um, they absolutely know that you are wish fulfillment. They may see you as wish fulfillment. I feel you and this person may see one another as wish fulfillment because this is double numbers. And I always feel when there's a mirroring of the numbers, then there's a mirroring of the energy. Um, so this could be a twin flame, possible twin flame. This could be someone who's going to be more assertive. Uh, maybe there was a little more complacent in the past. Maybe there was a little more um, reserved, trying to play hard to get, trying to play cool, um, trying to play smooth like they're not interested. But this person has a lot of love, um, a lot of love for you. And they see you as wish fulfillment. Um, I also feel this person communicates telepathically, intuitively to you because this 16 reduces to seven. So the crown activity, they could be getting a lot of divine interventions, downloads. Um, they could be seeing a lot of synchronicities that's making them think of you. Um, I absolutely feel there's some sort of wish fulfillment, a blessing coming in for you, Scorpios, because this 88, some of y'all could be seeing 888. Uh, and it was just 746, which was eight um, on the clock. So, you know, that 746, four and six is 10. That's one, seven and one, that's eight. So you, some of y'all could be seeing 888. Uh, but as I said, someone could also see you as wish fulfillment. This person is rushing in towards you because that seven is not just the crown chakra. It's also the chariot. So there is a sense somebody could be coming towards you more assertively, uh, now willing to communicate, to talk to you because maybe in the past they were kind of, you know, very hush, very quiet. Um, they did an emote. They didn't express their feelings. I'm seeing 10, 10 on the clock. It's 10, 37. Um, so there was an ending, you know, that may have caused the demise of a relationship because they didn't speak your love language. So that's just what I'm getting um, on the split. See that they didn't speak your love language. They didn't make the effort. So see that 13 that led to the demise of a relationship. Just as I said, they, they didn't see the effort or they didn't make the effort. Excuse me. And so you walked away. I feel like you walked away. You chose yourself. There was some sort of tower moment. Maybe you discovered something within this relationship with this connection. Um, which is why they couldn't really come towards you because maybe they still had some entanglements. I feel there's absolutely a strong attraction towards you, but I feel more importantly, you had some sort of grand epiphany and aha moment. Um, and I feel like, you know, even though your heart was broken, you focused on recovery, you focused on, you know, um, reconnecting with yourself, recharging your batteries, um, rejuvenating your spirit. You focused on, you know, recovery opposed to, um, the pain, the hurt, the loss. And I feel like that could be why there is some, some wish fulfillment coming in for you because you've, you've kind of mastered yourself. You didn't, uh, lay down and die or turn into a victim. I feel like you took onus, accountability and responsibility for whatever you allowed. Um, the yellow definitely is giving me the energy of like you becoming illuminated and clear and having that clarity, um, and that moment of truth in some sort of, um, you know, some sort of ending. Um, having some sudden loss or ending 13 is the death in traditional to row. So I feel like somebody absolutely someone's lack of effort, 
um, is what led to the connection. And that's why you can be like, look, no, you come talk to me. I'm not reaching out to you. So you could have walked away from someone, set healthy boundaries, blocked someone, de you know, detach from that energy. And so now they're feeling really compelled, as I said earlier, to communicate with you because they know they only have one more chance. This is like their last chance um, to be able to convince you how they feel. Um, and so now we have um, 112 featuring Mason, Notorious B.I.G. And this is called Only You. So this person realizes only you make them feel that spark. Only you um, make them feel emotionally fulfilled. I hear the train. So there could be distance between you. Uh, this person may... Let's let it go. Thank you, spirit. So this person may travel to see you or this person may need to travel to see you because there could be distance, as I said. Um, I feel you definitely moved away. You moved away from that toxic energy, removed yourself from a connection that was really like, um, it was just kind of like in and out. It was like hot and cold. It was like one minute it was up and on a high, next minute it was down on the low. It was just like they really played a lot of games and you just, you know, you didn't have the time. For that so i feel like you really focused on yourself that four um was the same energy that was just out and so i do feel like that was really more you loving yourself you focusing on self-care being selfish taking care of you prioritizing your needs wants and desires opposed to letting somebody um mistreat you mishandle you so let's see what we got coming and going out going on beloved spirit for my beloved scorpios what's the overall energy surrounding the situation and we have forgiveness so this is the number um, 96. So I do feel like you have forgiven this person. Um, it's very difficult for a Scorpio to forget when they're being mistreated or when, they're, when they've been done wrong. But it's very easy for them to forget, to forgive because they have forgiving hearts. Um, you wouldn't be able to change, transform and grow if you held on to every bad thing somebody did. They do say Scorpios, um, you know, when they're scorned, they could become very vindictive, very... Um, very very vengeful um but i feel like you all you remain humble you remain suave calm cool collected this 96 reduces to 15 that's six um six is you know the the lovers so i feel like you found ba balance harmony you 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 kind of focused on you know aligning your masculine and feminine side so you started to use more logic you started to kind of like find equilibrium and harmony and balance within the self, uh, which led to you being able to forgive because that's what that, that four was representing earlier, um, was you not focusing on, you know, the pain that was caused, but you more so focusing on healing yourself, recovering, rejuvenating your spirit, um, you know, and ultimately releasing what wasn't serving you, not being the victim, but taking onus and accountability. And I feel like that's what helped you to forgive and now that's what lead, what's leading someone to realize that only you um, would have handled that situation in the way that you did. This card just flew out. So we got 13 again. That's the four that I was referencing, the effort. The effort someone didn't make. Someone knows they didn't make the effort. They're seeing now, um, you know, how attractive you are um, in hindsight, how rare, how beautiful, how stable, how independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, how grounded you are, how down to earth or earthly you are. You could be seen as like a queen mother earth, like you love crystals, you love your singing bowls, you love sound baths and sound therapy, and you like to meditate and ground yourselves. You love being out in nature. Um, you like to work with your hands. Maybe some of you are studying um, how to become herbalists. Um, maybe some of you, you know, are studying the practice. You're, you're like becoming practitioners. So you could be working under, um, you know, a master teacher, you know, like seeking wise counsel to some degree, um, building your wealth of knowledge. Uh, but someone absolutely knows that they didn't make the effort in um, communicating or expressing their attraction towards you or their feelings towards you. Um, they're seeking your forgiveness as well. And I feel like you have already forgiven which is how you've been able to heal yourselves and find this balance and this harmony. This person feels you're the yang to their yin as well. They also feel you're their twin flame, their soulmate, their divine counterpart, their cosmic companion. Um, they feel like they would have stability with you, that the two of you could plant seeds, roots, build a nucleus, a family that happily ever after, happily, you know, that happy house, happy spouse, that they could commit with you that things would be stable, sturdy, um, this is someone that would be devoted and committed. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have physical activity. So they know they didn't make enough effort, you know, because with only you, it's like if they, they know that only you made the effort, only you took the initiative. 
Um, and they know that that's ultimately what led to the demise of the relationship is the fact that they did not initiate. They weren't initiate. They weren't assertive, if anything. I feel like they lacked confidence, perhaps. There was a fear. There was a lack of confidence. And this 13 reduces to four, which is the divine masculine. That's the emperor in traditional tarot. So this is someone that you may feel is your divine masculine or someone that you may feel is the one that got away, your twin flame, your soulmate, or they feel that way about you. Um, and this is another 13. So there is a sense of like mirroring energy. So they, they gave you their ass to kiss and you turned around and said, kiss mine too. So you, you were more active. You may have moved away because 13 um, is letting me know that there was some sort of sudden ending death. Um, but you've transformed. This, this caused a major transformation or some sort of rebirth or some sort of startling metamorphosis. Um, it's like you've emerged someone completely different, someone new. Um, and we got total feature in B, um, Notorious B.I.G. And this is called Can't You See? So I feel like this person now can see you for who you um, always have been, but maybe they didn't see your worth, your value. Maybe they didn't see um, this connection as being something very solid or stable, or they didn't see this as leading to marriage or leading to a long-term commitment because that 67, like I said, is three, um, 13, that's four. So four is giving me like the 11, 11. Maybe they didn't know the severity or the seriousness of this connection. 16, 16 on the clock. So that's um, seven, seven. 14 that's five so now they want to communicate and now they're going to say you know whatever it is that you were perhaps waiting for them to say in the past that they never said um maybe they're going to be more proactive now because they weren't in the past they didn't make the effort before so now they're going to show you with their actions um they're going to speak less you know because maybe before they they talked a whole bunch of game um whole lot of empty promises they just spoke because they had lips but now they're going to be more um active they're going to be more um physical they're going to show you more action behind their words um so with can't you see you're going to be able to see what it is that they um what they feel with their actions you're going to see they love you because this is going to be the type of person that buys you gifts just because they're thinking of you in that moment and not because it's a special occasion or a solar return or some sort of you know valentine's day or holiday holy day it's like because they feel you deserve it and they love you and they want to express that love right then and there so they're going to be very um chivalrous very charming so how does this person scorpio this came right back out physical activity so how they feel about you is they see that you've been working very hard after some sort of major ending. Um, after disconnecting with them, they see how much you've been growing, how much you've been healing. This is on the bottom of the deck. Um, a lot of you have changed tremendously. So it's like you're different from who they last met. And that's probably why they're seeking your forgiveness, because you have evolved. You have transformed. Um, it's like you've you've leveled up to some degree in this person's eyes and they could see you know, just how much hard work and effort you've put into something because it's like you're being recognized like they they're recognizing your growth. They're recognizing some sort of changes that you've made. They're seeing how independent you are and that you've established, you know, the, the, the foundation of your happiness and your peace and your security. Your stability is rooted and grounded on the ability to stand direct and stand independent of another person, of a situation. And so you found your independence. You found your strength. You found your power. They see you now. They didn't see you before because their vision was blurry because they were operating and functioning in their shadow side so it was very difficult for them to see the beauty that is you when they were um, flawed themselves so look at this the green the green deals with the heart chakra as well that's another four so this fours there's fours everywhere this person's realizing they love you they can now see how much they love you they can now see just how special you are you know, and that's why they were saying, you know, they want another chance because they feel like this is their only chance, their last chance to fix the situation, to rectify the situation. They've watched you really um, be that resilient. You know, you, you've exhibited and, and, you know, exuded this resilience, this strength, this power like none other. Um, and you've persevered through a lot of difficulties, a lot of tumultuous circumstances. 1919, that's endings. Um, you carried a lot of burdens on your shoulders, but you've since, you know, unburdened yourselves. Um, you've cut off the people, places and things with that last sword. Um, 
you know, that was stabbed in your back, you just cut everything off. Soul ties, people, toxic connections, relationships. You change your belief system, ideology. You've just transformed and morphed into a completely different person. And you're solid. This is a solid green card. So that means that you now have a sense of self-love. Um, as I said earlier, you're more so focusing on the self. So you're being more selfish this time around, focusing on and prioritizing your needs. And someone's realizing that there's nobody like you because we got Faith Evans here singing um, ain't nobody and now we have love partnership here um, for the outcome so this is what's you know kind of hidden in the energy is you know this person really wants to grow and um, cultivate a, a a, a stronger connection with you after some sort of um, tower moment after something was destroyed it's like they want to rebuild because they've realized there's nobody ain't nobody like you this person has held on to faith hope optimism this is that divine masculine that really is um passionate about you um and they could see you. They see you as very earthy, very down to earth, as I said. Um, they could see you as someone that just has a very loving, nurturing, maternal or paternal energy. Um, very domestic. Um, someone who's, you know, you know your way around the kitchen. You know how to keep house. Um, so they, they really feel this love, this, this, this connection, this synergy, this, this yearning for you, for this connection. Um, desiring to heal it, you know. And they're saying, ain't nobody who can love me like you do. There's no reason that I'll ever be untrue. So that's what this person is saying. It's like after dealing with whatever, after going within, doing their internal work, they're realizing there's nobody like you. They're realizing you are their twin flame, their soulmate. I got 11, 11 here um, twice, three times, actually. Um, I got 11s across the board because 14, you know, that's 11, 11, 67, that's four, that's 11, 11. And then you have four, that's 11, 11. So the vibration of 11, 11 is here. So that really is showing me that you do have like that twin flame, that soulmate. And if I'm not mistaken, we did see 11, 11 here on the clock um, earlier. Uh, so you do have a twin flame, a cosmic connection, someone that sees you as wish fulfillment. This could be someone who's this is like karma dharma, like you're receiving some some sort of, you know, things are being handled fairly and justly for you because of the seeds that you may have sowed in their in your past um, are now harvesting. They're now blossoming and it's bringing in that wish fulfillment. I feel like some of the prayers and petitions that you've sent up and some of those daily affirmations, confirmations and and daily mantras, the things you've been writing down in your manifestation journals, the candles you've been lighting to manifest love, to manifest abundance. It's all coming in and I feel like there's nobody um you know other than this twin other than this person that's going to be equally yoked with you this is like your divine person so I strongly am feeling like your angels and ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes uh, maybe they're telling you to be receptive to be open uh, just in case someone from your past whether an acquaintance um, or someone you knew from your past that requires you to forgive them uh, this can be, you know, like a true spiritual union because this 96, like I said, that's 15, that's six. That's not only dealing with harmony and balance, but that's also the lovers in traditional tarot. So you coming in into that sense of harmony with yourself is now going to make you more um, susceptible to attracting someone that's on that same wavelength, that same vibration of balance and harmony. Um, and so it's almost like the divine is aligning you with someone. Um, that is your yang to your yin, yin to your yang. Um, and this is ain't nobody, like I said, so faith. You all kept the faith. You remain hopeful. You remain very optimistic that something would improve or things would um, work out in your favor. You didn't stay focused on, you know, the, the betrayal, like I said. Uh, you were very proactive in healing, very proactive in soul searching and doing your internal work, healing past pains, wounds, traumas, uh, ex toxic exes, um, getting rid of faulty belief systems, not being a victim, but taking onus, accountability and responsibility. And that's the physical activity. You being very proactive, um, doing the work. That's the work uh, that you were doing. That's what was required uh, for you to. Um, for you to understand um, 
you know, how to move, move, how to move forward, how to connect with healthy relations, how to develop or cultivate healthy relationships moving forward, um, what to look for. All right. So we have on the bottom of the deck, it says, treat yourself. You deserve it. Self-love um, is the best love. So just as I said, you all have focused on being more selfish um, in that time um, of healing. You know, really, you know, when you are um, healing from trauma and pain and betrayal and deception and envy and jealousy and people throwing shit, stuff at you and, and, and speaking ill on your name and trying to defame your character or trying to line you up or trying to pray on your death. When you're dealing with that type of contempt and that type of malice and that type of evil, it's, it's very necessary for you to, to pull your energy back because that's like very vampiric. Those are energy vampires. Those are people who are projecting their insecurities onto you. Those are people who are jealous of whatever work you're doing. Um, they have the ability to do it, but they're too lazy. So these are the ones that could have been riding your coattail, um, using you as a life force, um, using you as their source of, of income. So they could have been just using you. And when you discovered this, that's when you walked away. That's when you severed the ties. And that's ultimately when you created those boundaries in that space. Um, so I was feeling like some of y'all moved away, literally. But the forgiveness, you also... Um, were able to do because that's the growth. That's what Scorpios, Scorpios are very, very strong. So we have I Want to Be Down, and this is the remix featuring Queen Latifah, Yo-Yo, and MC Light, and this is by Brandy. So somebody could have had some sort of drinking addictions, and it could have really, um, it could have really, like, skewed their vision, skewed their, their, um, their uh, uh, opinion, their minds. They could have done some things, you know, that was really just, um, foolish. I don't know why I'm cutting the deck and I didn't even, I didn't even, um, shuffle the cards yet. <laughs> so I'm over here talking and not realizing that I'm, you know, but yeah, you got love and, 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 um, happiness and your love is one in a million. So what someone does see, you know, exactly, like I said, that you are like that twin flame, that cosmic companion. Um, someone absolutely sees you as that wish fulfillment. They've been praying for you and you've been praying for them. And I feel like with the two of you praying for one another, um, it's it's happening. You know, it's really manifesting. They want to be down with you. You know, they know that when they're with you, they, they their world is bright. Things are happy. You know, they feel joyful. They feel excited about life. You know, you make them feel a zest for life. You know, they see you as family. You know, they see you as wifey material, as hubby material. They can see themselves planting a seed in your womb and making you the mother to their child or their children. You know, this is the man, woman and child card. This is the womb, womb man. This is the uh, these are the fallopian tubes for the children. And this is the male phallus. So this is for the masculine. So this is how they see you. They feel you bring a lot of love, peace, happiness, joy. What did I say about this being a spiritual union? Because we saw this number 96, which is 15. That's six. That's the lovers. So that's like a spiritual union, a twin flame, the yang to your yin. They're very aware of how strong, how real this connection is. And that's why I feel like this person was really um, wanting to come back. They want to be down. You know, they don't want to be in the outs with you. You know, they don't want to be in the outs with you. They want to be down. They want you to be, um, you know, their significant other. And we have a single black, white female, once your life, jealous, envious, sneaky hater. So you do have some little nasty energy around. And I was picking up on that, um, that you do have a lot of nasty energy that was very envious and jealous of you. This could be your ex friends, lovers, and even family members that you could have parted um, from uh, because you discovered this level of toxicity and um, possessiveness and obsession with you. Uh, but you also have a secret admirer, someone that loves what they see, someone that's very intrigued. Um, Someone that finds you very mysterious, someone that is attracted to your strength, to your beauty um, and to the love and light that you radiate. Um, it says as above, so below you are the alchemist, the magi. So you could be, you know, responsible for manifesting this love partnership because this is when you're utilizing all of the elements around you. You know, the cups, the swords, um, you're, you're utilizing those elements to create the reality you desire. So some of you are really in a manifesting um, energy right now. Maybe you're going to be using that new moon energy um, in Aries 
uh, to, to manifest this new love. And um, you want somebody that's going to be down for you. You want somebody that's going to ride till the wheels fall off and then the both of you pull off to the side of the road and put some new wheels on that beat and continue to ride. Like you don't want nobody that's going to be there when times are good and then they out when times are bad. You don't want that up and down roller coaster ride of a relationship. You want someone that's consistent. You want someone that means what they say and say what they mean. But you also want someone that's emotionally intelligent, attentive, affectionate, someone communicative, someone that's vulnerable, someone that opens up. Like you don't want to someone that's shy. We got shy singing right now. If I ever fall in love. So you don't want somebody that's like shy and, you know, a little intimidated. You want a man's man. You want somebody that's going to be masculine and come in and, and snatch you up and be like, look, girl, you know what I'm saying? That's how the feminines want. You want somebody that's going like not to, to, to in an abusive way, but just like they, they're going to let you know, like, I'm the man. I'm the man of the house. You don't want nobody you could push over and that's shy and, oh, I'm afraid to say what I feel and I'm afraid to speak my truth. You don't got no time for that because that's immature in your eyes. You know, so it's like, you know, you don't want that shy person. You want somebody that's going to really come in and express what they feel, say how they feel and not be afraid to con communicate that. So it says, if I ever fall in love again. So, yeah, this person, you know, has. Um, I feel like they've already fallen in love. Ever fall again. Sure that. The lady's just a friend. So, yeah, this person sees you as a friend. Like, they've fallen in love. Like, maybe y'all started out as friends. Maybe that's why, you know, I'm getting a sense like there was somebody from your past. Maybe this was a friend. And it was like, it was more than just friends. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the connection just, it just rang more than just friends. You know, maybe you were intimate with this person. You know, maybe you all were attracted to one another. But... Someone tried to friend zone another person, you know, but the bottom of the deck, happy house, happy spouse, beloveds. And we got forgiveness. What did I say? There's somebody that wants to come back and claim you because they see you as the yang to their yin, yin to their yang, their cosmic companion. This is somebody that feels you make them happy and you make a house a home. You know what I'm saying? But they want your forgiveness, which means that they may have done something in the past. They could have went in a different direction. They could have, you know, like I said, friend zoned you because maybe they didn't see initially that this connection could be harmonized. Maybe they didn't really believe it. Maybe they was lying to themselves. They didn't trust their intuition. Um, but now there's this sense of them realizing this truth um, because they're saying, if I ever fall in love again and I feel like they've fallen in love with you, but they, their shyness. Um, their inability to be, you know, vulnerable or to emote um, may have led to them, you know, not making this effort, you know, not moving when they needed to move, not not showing you, um, you know, not making you feel st stable or secure in that connection, you know. And so it says you ain't got to lie, Craig, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you may have felt like this person was being deceptive to you because maybe, as I said, they couldn't make a move towards you. Because maybe they was dealing with some sort of entanglement, a karmic or an ex relationship that you may not have known about. And so, you know, with you being the psychic that you are, the intuitive that you are, the channeler, the sorcerer, the magi that you are, um, you already knew. You knew without knowing. You know what I'm saying? That there was somebody else because maybe when you was calling them, they wasn't picking up. Maybe they would call you at a certain time and it was always some late hours when somebody else could have possibly been resting or somebody could have. Been, you know what I'm saying? It's just like there was something that you knew about the connection um, that led you to believe that somebody was not being honest. And so for you, you was just like, why are you lying? You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? So maybe because somebody was too afraid or they shied away from expressing their truth this is also like you know that could be self-deception you know you could have been deceiving yourself because there was red flags all over the place or maybe this person was deceiving themselves to uh try to convince themselves that they didn't feel the love they didn't feel what they felt 33 33 if i ever fall in love that's six six that's 12 that's three so there was heartbreak there was disappointment but there's also this desire i feel for this person to kind of reunite with you to um communicate with you um because i feel like this person has been like planning some some sort of um some sort of conversation with you it's like i hear them like you know, kind of practicing what they're going to say or, you know, like trying to like figure out because I do 
get a sense of them watching because we did have secret admirer show up. So I do feel like they're watching you maybe through some sort of social media platform or maybe they're just watching your old pictures, you know, and they're just, you know, visualizing you a lot, thinking of you a lot, dreaming about you. Um, but whatever the case, I'm, I'm sensing like this person is, you know, they're they're like practicing some sort of communication because remember we had um, come and talk to me. Um, you know, also by um, Jodeci. Uh, so they're they're planning what they're going to say when they come and talk to you um, because they know it's only you that they love. You know, um, they thought they were going to fall in love with somebody. Maybe they went in a different direction. They thought they was in love and they learned that it wasn't love. In fact, love was with you always. So why is effort here um, for the person Scorpio is attracting and how they feel? So it says you need a wusa uh, vacay trip, spa day, mani petty. You deserve it. So this person needs you know, that time out as well. You know, they've been really doing a lot. You know, um, they may see you as someone that needs to be pampered and treated and they know that they need to make the effort to show you how beautiful you are, how special you are. Like they need, you know, I'm hearing the word cater to you. Like they want to come in and cater to you. They want to treat you like that queen, that king, because it's almost like Scorpios, you guys know now um, that it's your birthright to have everything you desire, to have abundance, to have love, to have happiness. It's like your birthright. You're no longer convinced that, you know, your life is just miserable and you're going to be broke forever and you're never going to find love. None of you all, you all are walking around with that um, mentality, not after completing a karmic cycle. You've discovered your worth and value. So now it's like this person that didn't make the effort. Now they realize like this, is, these are the things they need to shower you with. They need to, you know, bring peace and and joy um, to your life opposed to drama and, and, and confusion. So they're like, you need a vacate. They may bliss you with a vacation. They may bliss you with a spa day, um, you know, a mani petty. They may just come in and gift you. Right now we have Jay-Z and it says love for free featuring Rel. So it's like they see you gave them love freely, whereas they may you know, not have reciprocated that. And so now it's like they want to come back. And like I said, they want to they want to um, cater to you. It's like they want to now like treat you, you know, like I was saying earlier, like somebody that wants to kind of like, you know, treat you like that divine feminine, that divine masculine where, you know, they just want to gift you with something because that's how they feel in that moment. They love you and they want to shower you with that. We got be healthy and it says health is wellness. So, you know, many of you could be really taking care of yourselves, dieting. Some of you may be fasting coming up um, April 1st for seven days, 14 days, 21 days. Um, some of you all are doing some sort of, you know, um, cleansing of your energy. You could be doing spiritual baths. Um, some of you could be doing detoxes. Um, you may also be like just purging people, places and things, ridding yourself. But you're very active in healing. You're very active in, you know, transmuting any negative energy, people, any, you know, lingering or residual energy from something from your past. You're working very hard um, to release it um, because you're no longer giving your love for free. You're no longer in the business of just giving people the benefit of the doubt and trusting empty promises and words. It's like now people are going to have to match that. They're going to have to come in and and show and prove uh, because you know what you bring to the table and you also know what your birthright as I said to have everything you want so you want people that are healthy also you want people who have a healthy relationship with themselves a healthy understanding of what love is what love entails what love look like what love feels like how you're supposed to be loving in a relationship to know that you're lovable it's like you want a reciprocal connection and you want someone that's very healthy emotionally healthy mentally healthy you want somebody that's healthy, that has a healthy relationship with themselves first and foremost, because you've learned that love is an inside job. So you want someone that's going to love themselves as well. Um, so why is physical activity here? Thank you. Be healthy came right back up. So be healthy. So you want somebody that's going to be healthy and you're also prioritizing what's bringing health and wellness into your life. That's what you want. You want things that are going to bring balance, stability, security. You don't want anything that's going to rock or, or to um, shake your foundation um, because you've worked very hard to build yourself up, to bring about this, this independence, this self-sufficiency. Um, we have mind sex on the bottom of the deck. So this can say many things. Um, one of them being somebody is thinking of you a lot. Um, and with love for free, I feel like this person may be honestly, is this, I'm getting self-pleasure. I'm getting someone thinking of you while, you know, 
having intimate thoughts um, and could be, you know, pleasing themselves. Um, but I also am getting a sense of with mind sex, maybe there's some some someone that was playing a lot of mind games. And that's why you're very focused on um, healthy relationships, healthy connections. This is an all purple card. Um, and so that's telling me that you ultimately um, want somebody that's, you know, very um, that's not a, a mentally manipulative. Uh, you want somebody that's a straight shooter. You want somebody that's real, like I said, um, and someone that has um, emotional fulfillment as well. You know, because if somebody has a sense of self-love, then they know how to treat other people. Um, and they're also going to know how to treat you. So with that mindset, it's like you don't want anybody coming and playing games. Right now we have Aaliyah featuring R. Kelly, and this is called Let Me Know at your best so this person sees you at your best and i feel like that's what has let this person know that they do love you this is what's hidden in the energy is that you know they see you at your best and they've seen you at your best because maybe they saw you at your worst and they see how much you've grown how much you've transformed this green is really giving me the energy of like you being very grounded you being very healthy strong powerful um this person seeing you as that person that they can build a life with a family a legacy they see you as someone that can bring that happy house happy spouse they see you as that cosmic companion they see you as someone that brings love into their life light joy peace stability and they're going to let you know they're going to let you know somebody has to cut their losses it says cut your losses you'll be rewarded get greatly so somebody has to walk away and release their past they have to let go of someone or something that could be holding them back in order to come towards their twin flame their soulmate their cosmic companion their kindred spirit this is the 11 11 4 so this is like the four of wands to me and this is someone that feels you ground them that you you bring stability you bring security, you bring laughter, you bring joy, and they're going to let you know that because remember, come and talk to you. Somebody wants to come and talk to you. And I feel like you're not, you're, you're waiting for someone to come and talk to you because I feel like you're picking up on this intuitively. Like you're very psychic, like intuitively, you know, you know, your first eye is wide open. So you're trusting your intuition. You're using discernment when it comes to situations. This is absolutely a twin flame because it just turned to 11, 11 on the clock. I don't know if you could see that. Hopefully you can. So this is a twin flame and we are about to clarify the four, which is 1111 to me, twin flame vibration. So you, you absolutely have somebody that um, is cutting their losses. So they could be cutting off some sort of karmic or um, severing the karmic cords to a karmic relationship or they're, com you know, completing a karmic lesson, you know, or they're paying off some sort of karmic debt. But I am feeling like they're cutting their losses and the reward is you, you know. The reward is going to be coming into this love partnership with you because you are their wish fulfillment. So why is perseverance here for what's hidden in the energy? Manifest that shit. See, you you got the power. So this person sees you in your power. And that's why I said at your best. This person sees you at your best because they they knew you at your worst. And now they see you as this master manifester, this oracle, this magi. Remember, we saw, you know, um, you are the man, magi. So it's like you're the magi, you are the alchemist, you are, you know, utilizing, you know, all of the elements around you to create your potions and elixirs to life. It's like you're setting intention, you're focused intention, and you're manifesting things into this physical reality. And I feel like you're also manifesting this love partnership, this person that's coming in. And they're going to let you know how they feel. They're going to let you know that, you know, you at your best, you triggered and, and, and motivated and inspired them to come toward you. Because for a long time, they was very quiet. They didn't take action. They could have been very shy, according to shy. See that? Believe you can and you will. So that's hope and optimism. This is you in that star energy. You know, that's what the star is. The star is all about remaining hopeful, optimistic. This is about purifying your spirit, your soul, cleansing yourself, releasing what no longer serves you, but also trusting in the unknown. It's like you don't have a clue that something is going to work out, but you just trust in the process. You trust you use that that faith, that hope, that optimism. You call upon your ancestors, angels, guides, and they assisted you. You sent up prayers and petitions, daily affirmations, you know, daily mantras. You were speaking into the ethers, impertinence to love, impertinence to a partnership, impertinence to what you desired, you know. You didn't want a part-time lover. We got H-Town here singing part-time lover. So in the past, you had somebody that wasn't, you know, available emotionally, wasn't making the effort. 
and that led to the demise of a relationship, which led to you doing your inner work and healing yourself. So this was all preordained and predestined for you to experience so that you could learn your love language in addition to learning what your boundaries ought to be and your value ultimately, because you didn't even know that. But now with this belief, that's that star. That's literally you turning your pain into power. That's you also, you know, transmuting or utilizing, you know, whatever your vulnerabilities were and those, you know, becoming um, your superpower. You're, you're turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. So we have no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And then you have I want to get to know you better digging on you. So what did I say? This person is absolutely this union is is a spiritual one. This is a cosmic relationship. I, I, I mean, might I say twin flame? I just saw four, 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 four when I was saying this. So I definitely feel like this is someone your angels and ancestors are sending in for you. And this is not somebody that's going to be a part time lover. Because you don't want that. You don't want somebody that's coming in to be a part time lover. This is somebody that wants to get to know you better. They've been digging on you for a while. You know, in the past, maybe there was a part time. Maybe they was somebody that was there half the time, but they didn't really make the effort this time around. They want to get to know you, you know, because they've seen your transformation, as I said. And I feel like with this, no weapon formed against me shall prosper or you shall prosper. I feel like this union in and of itself is very spiritually connected. And we got music as my sanctuary. So this person may hear music that reminds them of you. Some of you may be clairvoyant or clairaudient, excuse me. Many of you have healed listening to music. Maybe you use sound therapy, sound baths. And that has really centered you, grounded you in a, a way to be able to see things more clearer. All right. So music is my sanctuary. So somebody wants to get to know you better. They see you as wish fulfillment, Scorpios. So we're going to pull some messages from the dark grimoire on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. We got the ace of pentacles and look at this eye watching you. So somebody's absolutely watching you. They're taking a page out of your book. It's like they're learning something from you. And they're learning something from this relationship from the past also, because remember, we have I want to get to know you better. So this person is digging you. They're digging what they see. They're digging the growth. They're digging your ec evolution. And you have the power. So you're manifesting this. Like, I feel like you, the changes you've implemented and made in your life, it's like now someone else has been triggered, activated. And they're coming in to make a very solid offer. This is something tangible also that you could be receiving. So this could be like, you know, a new opportunity financially for you. This is leading to some sort of financial freedom, success, stability, security. This could be a new job offer. This could be a bonus. This could be a promotion. This could be you getting a business loan, um, having some sort of lucrative business deals. Um, this is you finalizing something and, and, and it, the return is just everything you can imagine. This could also speak to your tax returns. This is like there's money coming in. This is new money. This is like and, it, and maybe you have a part time job. Maybe it maybe it's your business that you do, um, you know, part part time and not really, because I feel like a lot of you all really devote and, and put a lot of intention and attention into, you know, your passions. Um, and maybe it's uh, something you do part time because you may have a full time job. Um, so that's what I mean in that regard. But I feel like you're totally devoted to whatever it is. But somebody sees your growth. Forty seven, forty seven. That's your twin flame that's watching you. And they may want to come in and propose. I'm feeling that because we are about to clarify forgiveness and happy house, happy spouse here. And so and then we got this ace of pentacles. So this could be somebody coming in and, um, you know, wanting to propose, maybe giving you an engagement ring, um, a promise ring or some of some sort. And we got um, the thing you the things you do. And this is by Gina Thomas. So this person is like really intrigued by the things that you do, um, you know, the way that you have grown, transformed. This person really wants to come towards you. This is reuniting. This is the three of cups. So this is somebody that's, you know, really wanting to reunite, reconnect. You know, they want to. Um, I just feel like this is somebody that wants to like rebuild this connection, build this alliance with you. You know, they want to celebrate with you and have peace, love, happiness. So divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? I have a message of love and light, divine spirit. 
divine spirit of love and light may have a message of love and of light. And I see this ace of wands. So there goes that passion and desire, that fire and desire. And this is somebody that absolutely sees you as their the yang to their yin, somebody that would make their home a house. I mean, their house a home, you know, somebody that, you know, they feel like you, you feel like home. And we got the moon. See that? So somebody wants forgiveness for the secrets and things that they may have hid from you, you know, but they communicate with you on, you know, like I said, intuitively, you know, and this is somebody that feels a lot of emotion, you know, and maybe they were running from this, but they, you can't run from the high priestess because I feel Scorpios, y'all are like the high priestess, the Magi's, you got the power to manifest. So that means you have that awareness. You are very psychic, that sensitivity to energy, to, you know, and, and I feel like you're picking up on someone. Or you may have picked up on someone being deceptive or lying about something. Because remember, we had, you don't, you ain't got to lie, Craig. And so with the things you do, maybe there was something that this person may have done. Like I said, they could have ghosted you. They could have been on some runner chaser. Because you can see somebody's running and then there's somebody's chasing, you know. And then there's a tower off in the distance. So there could have been somebody that was living with someone and they never exposed that to you, told you, to, told you that or conf confessed that truth. And then they just ghosted. They just friend zoned you or maybe there was some disconnect in the relationship. But I feel like this person now sees you as someone that brings, you know, that sense of fulfillment, that happiness, that peace and joy. And maybe that's something they've been hiding and lying to themselves. And they it required them to do some deep dives, some soul searching to discover that truth, to own up to that truth, you know, and they want your forgiveness now because that's a mistake that they've made. And so we see here the sun. So you got the moon and the sun. That's the eclipse. So the this the secret, this lie was eclipsing the sun, which is the truth. You know, so this was eclipsing the sun because this was over this. This was the bottom of the deck. And that's what I pulled. And so this is why this person now is having that epiphany. It's no coinkydink that the sun is here. And then we're about to clarify your person's energy. And this is a yellow card, which is the color of the sun, which is also the color of the solar plexus, which is the sun that shines within which is also the color of the sun in the sky. So that's about illumination and clarity. So this is this person now having that aha moment, that epiphany coming up out of the dark, even, you know, kind of healing from some of their own um, getting out of their way. You know, it's almost like they was in their own way or they was listening to the wrong, da -dun -da -dun, the wrong people getting advice from people. They weren't considering the source, you know, and so they weren't making an effort towards you because they was listening to people telling them, oh, you got to fight for the relationship, the karmic relationship you're in. Or, you know, they didn't use the word karmic, but they got to fight for that relationship and stay there. And maybe they felt compelled or obligated to some degree because they may have established, you know, like I said, that that family dynamic, you know. And so they didn't make an effort towards you. But now they see you as the sunlight. They see you as sunshiny day. You know, you just bring forth love, light, happiness, clarity. And we got Mariah Carey, the brat, escape singing, always be my baby. So you will always be this person's baby. This is the epiphany, the truth that you're there to inflame soulmate, cosmic companion and spiritual union. And this person really desires to come in and treat you like as such. They treat to treat you as if you are that regal, royal queen, goddess, empress or masculine emperor, divine feminine, divine masculine. Like they want to treat you like the royalty that you are. Because as I said, when you own who you are and know it's your birthright to live in opulence, abundance, to have love, peace, happiness, joy, to live wherever the hell you want, that's what you're going to give off. And guess what? People are going to start believing it too. So they know they're going to have to come in and match that energy, that vibration, and they're going to have to come in and deliver. So 52, 52 on the clock, seven, seven, that's 14, that's five. This person is ready to come in and communicate. And they're going to, they're, they're having this epiphany. Downloads are hitting them. They're realizing you're the sunshine in their life, you know, and, they, and you're always, you've always been their baby, even if they didn't communicate. So why is effort and you need a woosah, vacay, trip, spa day, Manny Petty, you deserve it. So this person now sees your worth. They didn't see it before that now they now see it. The 10 of swords. So they're cutting free from something toxic. Like I said, that's why they was living in a household with somebody and the, the house was built on lies. You know, it was built with lies, deception. There was snakes. You know, this person was trying to do everything or maybe they was being taken advantage of to do a little bit of everything, handle the finances, do this, do that. Maybe they was in a, a codependent relationship, whatever the case may be. This is why they couldn't make the effort with you because they was already entangled. You know, all these arms, this is like entanglements, 
You know, this is like, you know, so that's why they couldn't make the effort. That's why they're now realizing like, damn, I got to I got to come in and I need to shower Scorpio with love. I need to court them. I need to treat Scorpio um, like the divine feminine goddess that they are masculine, you know, <clears throat> that they are. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. So, yep. So this is somebody that definitely has to break free from some sort of karmic relationship. You know, that's why they weren't able to make the effort with you. Um, clearly, you know, and this led to the death of and the demise of a relationship. But ultimately, by you walking away, I feel like this may have triggered someone to realize that, you know, they were dissatisfied in their connection. You know, there was a lot of, of, of um, toxicity. I feel like the problems, you know, got too big. And, and ultimately, you know, whatever this entanglement was, they felt they very compelled to leave, to walk away because they see you as wish fulfillment. You know, this says always be my baby. So you will always be this person's baby. I feel like, you know, with this water coming out of this uh, masculine, it's like a statue's um, mouth. There's water coming out. This is what they're going to say. Um, they're going to communicate. They're going to emote for the first time because they see you as wish fulfillment. But I also feel like you've been very selfish. Um, as I said, prioritizing your needs, wants and desires, taking care of you, being sure to, um, you know, formulate or forge uh, strong and, and healthy relationships with people. Um, and you're being very, very proactive, very mindful in the connections um, that you engage in. Um, Self-love makes you more attractive. You've learned that by walking away from someone that kept you feeling very emotionally bankrupt, that made you feel like an option, that made you feel, you know, um, like you weren't special, like you weren't enough. And so, you know, the more you worked on yourself, the more you realized how fly, how dope, how amazing you were. And that's when you discovered that it's your birthright to have exactly what it is you desire because that's what the divine wants for you. If you're made in God's image, then that means that everything you desire is all yours. It's already yours. And so that's what you started to focus on, self-love. You realize self-love made you more attractive. So that means that love had to live on the inside of you first and foremost. So that's why you've taken time to work on you, um, on you know being a healthier version of you, um, being a stronger, more solid uh you know, version of yourself, better version of yourself. And ultimately that will attract healthier relationships and connections to you. So this makes you more attractive. This also speaks to wish fulfillment and being emotionally fulfilled and satisfied. Um, we have sweet sable and this is called old time sake. Um, so somebody that may be coming back could be like, you know, this is like somebody from your past, as I said, this is very nostalgic energy. So divine spirit, why is physical activity be healthy here for how the person Scorpio is attracting feels about Scorpio old time sake tells me there's history so there is history here and this could be like an acquaintance this could be someone that you dated for a short period of time or somebody that was a friend and maybe you felt this chemistry with this person or vice versa and you thought the connection was going to a deeper level and it just stayed it just it was stunted um maybe somebody just friend zoned you ghosted you whatever the case may be um somebody's reminiscing you know on sweeter times so this card literally like i went to do the, what you call um to start shuffling again and this card kind of flew out so i feel this is a bonus so we got the seven of pentacles so this is how you you know are um looking at the situation like you really invested a lot but you don't feel like anybody kind of matched your energy um this is also you realizing that you know you could be do good by yourself um because you are you know you are making um some progress here but i also feel like somebody also um I, like somebody else is um, realizing that they didn't put in enough effort as well. Um, and that could have caused, you know, a lot of, of, of the confusion in the connection. We got the na uh, the knave of cups. So that's like the page of cups. So they want to come in and make a new offer of love for old time's sake. So it's like they want to, like I said, reconcile. Um, they want to reconcile something. So divine spirit, why is physical activity be healthy here for how this person Scorpio is attracting feels about our beloved Scorpio? And we have the justice. So this is somebody that wants to come in and speak a truth to you. They want to bring balance to this equation. This is also, like I said, wish fulfillment is like, you know, Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. And so it's like the seeds that you've sowed in the, in the past, they're now harvesting and blossoming. And so it's like there's some things working out in your favor, I feel, you know, and it's because you you focused on your healing. 
you know, and with uh, um, our um, old time sake, I feel like, you know, for old time sake is referencing, you know, those those past traumas that you had been healing, you know, whatever those experiences were that you had to recover from. And, and you now coming up with more of um, a healthier way, a healthier perspective on, you know, those connections, on those situations. But I do feel like things are being balanced for you, that you're receiving some sort of good karma, that there's uh, things working out in your favor. And we got R. Kelly down low. So somebody's receiving karma also for their shenanigans that they was doing behind the scenes, behind your back. Um, we got five of, um, what is this, the five of swords. So on the download, you had some folks that was really, um, you know, defamating your character, speaking ill of you, gossiping. Um, these are people that are very jealous and envious. Remember, we saw that card as well. And remember, you had no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So you already knew you have those secret enemies, those people that are envious, those people that really um, prey on your downfall. Um, but you are aware. And so you're running away from it. Um, you may have moved away from these toxic, vile energies. Um, these were people that was on the low. They was hating you on the low until they couldn't hide it any longer because I feel very strong high priestess energy, um, that magi, that psychic. Um, with manifest that shit, this is what you had to persevere from. All of these de demonic attacks, spiritual attacks, psychic attacks, all of these words, people were speaking ill against you. You know, people don't realize how um, powerful words are. You know, words are so powerful, they can bind you. And that's why it's very important to be mindful of how you speak about yourself and your situation. Um, there's certain words I just don't say. Um, and it's because I know the vibration and the frequency of words and how they use words, you know, as a way to to spell, to, to cast spells. So it's very mindful to, you know, take certain words out of your vocabulary so as to stop the, you know, the continuation of, of, of binding yourself in a circumstance or a situation. And so maybe that's what you all are doing is, you know, you're cutting yourselves free. You've persevered from a lot of this entanglement. You know, these were people that were on a low hating people that were trying to line you up. Um, as you can see, these people are waving, you know, all kind of weaponry and swords. And it's like, like whole freaking you know, I don't know how many people, how many demons this is, but these are, this is like a mass amount of demons chasing after one person. So that just shows how bright your light is and how, you know, your spirit irritates others. Um, and as you can see, there's, there's this light, you know, where you're stepping. It's like these people are trying to step into your limelight. They were trying to block your light as well, dim your light. Um, but you still was able to manifest because you had the power. You realized you had the power, you owned your power, and ultimately you utilized your power to break free from really toxic entanglements. Um, and you ultimately, like, you was very resilient, very strong, very powerful. Um, that heart chakra, you're very fulfilled right now. Even if there was heartbreak, you took onus and accountability and you moved away from that. So why is um, perseverance manifest that shit? Uh, for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. So this one wants to show as well. There goes the queen of swords. See that? So that's what you had to do first and foremost was cut off all of those toxic um, demonic energies, those incubus succubus energies, those vampiric energies. You know what I'm saying? Those leeches, those parasites. And you chopped their head off because you discovered they were liars. You discovered they was deceptive. You discovered that they was preying on your downfall. And then you have the fool. So this is you, you know, you played the fool before, but you ain't playing it again. You know, the fool is here. So there was absolutely some sort of grand epiphany that you may have had about all these people and they were keeping you stuck and stagnant. Um, I feel like, you know, whatever you was dealing with, it was like they was like using you as a life force, you know, because you you were the life force in a lot of these people's eyes. But I feel like perhaps maybe they took advantage um, and thought you would always be that fool. You would always, you know, be willing to overcompensate or self-sabotage until you woke up. You know, this sword, this is the queen of swords. This is that energy. Scorpios will always transform into the queen of swords energy where you cut yourself free from everything until you feel like, okay, I can set up shop again. But it's like you cut everything off. You cut your losses. You draw the line in the sand. And it's because you've realized that you was being played for Booba the Fool. You know, the 
benefit of the doubt you was given to other people, they was taking that for granted. They was taking that for um, taking your kindness for weakness. And so what you started to do was you started to, you know, manifest, manifest something different in your life, manifest different circumstance or outcome. Um, but I do feel like, you know, whatever was keeping you stuck, because this is a, you know, a stray jacket. So this could have been like, you know, a lot of confusion, mental anguish. Somebody was playing you for the fool until they couldn't anymore because the Queen of Swords doesn't take too kindly to be in um, play for Buddha the Fool. So she will cut you off with the quick fastness. And this looks like the same, the same head on the fool looks like the same head. So it looks like the same man, you know. So it's like whoever this fool was, whoever was trying to play you for fool and trying to keep you stuck, it's like you cut their head off. You you cut them off completely, severed their tie because you it was just like they was lying. And so we have the nine of pentacles. So this is what you've been able to obtain all on your own. And this is what makes you super attractive. This is why somebody sees you, you know, as, you know, that that very down to earth, earthly, um, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine, somebody who's very domestic, you know, how to keep house, you know, how to, you know, to to cook and clean and take care of your children. Uh, very maternal, very paternal, very caring nurturing you know just tender love and care we got tlc playing crazy sexy cool and those could be all of the things they feel about you they feel you could be crazy in a good way sexy and cool you're just down to earth you know the relationship the connection is just very effortless this person is you know taking their time because it says take our time so you know maybe this person really um sees you as you know someone that they can invest with um invest in um, long-term commitment, longevity, stability, security. Like this is somebody that is willing to compromise um, and willing to commit, you know? So this person does uh, want to get to know you better. So this is someone willing to take, our t take their time to get it right. Um, so that's like that, you know, the nine of pentacles is how they see you. So that's regal. That's royal. That's someone self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant. This is like pre-empress status. This is what you've been able to obtain all on your own. Um, and this is why they are willing to come in and invest because they feel like with the two of you, um, there can be nothing but success. This connection can really develop into something really powerful, really strong. And so with this love partnership, this person does feel that you are, in fact, um, you know, someone that they're equally yoked with. And that's why they're desiring to get to know you better. They want to get to know the new you because you've evolved and changed and transformed so much. And I feel this is someone that you're meant to be with. This could be a past life love, a twin flame. But this is a, a, a connection that is spiritually protected. Um, because there are people that are very jealous. There are people who are talking a lot um, or will be about this union. But this is also um, a very solid connection. This is someone that is, um, you know, in hermit mode right now where you may have been in hermit mode uh, after, you know, kind of like just focusing on healing yourself, loving yourself and, and learning who you are again. Um, you may have really set healthy boundaries. Um, and went into a very protective bubble and created like a safe space, a safe haven. So as to continue to do that internal work. And I feel like the work that you've been doing on yourself is very obvious. Like people are recognizing the changes, recognizing your transformation, and it's making you very attractive and ultimately letting someone know um, that they want to, you know, develop this relationship, cultivate a, a more serious relationship with you. Um, so why is love partnership? I want to get to know you better digging on you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. May have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. And we have on the bottom of the deck, we got the seven of swords. So this is somebody who's uh, possibly under attack. And this is gossip, lies, cheating, somebody trying to steal, somebody trying to get you. You know, this could be not just you, but maybe someone else that's trying to come towards you. Uh, because we got the seven of swords there. And then remember, we had the eight of swords. So that could be somebody realizing they were self-sabotaging. You know, this is self-deception, you know, self-deception. And so what we have here is the queen of cups. Can't make this up. This is what this person felt. This was the card that flew out first, but I looked at the bottom of the deck. So the love partnership, somebody has enormous love, enormous overflowing love for you. And they feel that you fulfill them emotionally. And this is somebody that feels they're very sweet on you. We got Mariah Carey's Honey playing. And this is featuring Mace, The Locks, and Sean, Puffy Combs. So this is what somebody is feeling. They're feeling a very strong 
connection, love connection to you. They're very sweet on you. Um, and this is somebody that sh really desires to get to know you, like they're yearning for you. And I feel ultimately that this connection is protected. It's spiritually protected. This could be someone your ancestors, angels, your guides are aligning you with. But this is someone that has a lot of love. And I feel like it's because you've learned to love yourselves first. You know, love resides in you now. So now you can attract what you are. And that's what this person is realizing. I feel this person has also been doing a lot of work. They're now seeing things clearly. Whereas in the past, they could have been like, you know, deceiving themselves, not communicating or expressing what they really feel. And you could see here, maybe they were sleeping with the enemy. They realized they were sleeping with the enemy. And so now they're trying to sever some sort of relationship. I see here the nine of wands. So someone is trying to keep someone stuck. Look how this energy looks on the bottom of this deck. And then you got the chariot. So we have here the Ten of Swords, right, for your person's energy, person you're attracting and how they feel. Remember, that was clarifying the effort and you need a woosah. So this person realizes you need a woosah. They may need a woosah for dealing from dealing with this toxic ish because this is the Ten of Swords. So this is backstabbing, betrayal after betrayal, deception, lies, discovering somebody's cheating. Someone finally took that last sword and cut themselves free from the nine. So this here is showing me that there's still this lingering energy of somebody feeling like they have to protect themselves. You know, this is somebody really saying to themselves, like, what's better protection, God or guns? You know, maybe they feel their life is in danger. Maybe they feel like whoever they're with, they can't trust them as far as they can throw them. But there is a sense of defensiveness with someone else. Or maybe this could be somebody's own mind playing tricks on them and they're deceiving themselves, not trusting their own intuition. What I see here underneath that is the nine of wands. So this is by, you know, someone's own un, um someone's inability to be real that you've created like a protective bubble like i said this is a fiery wall of protection and all these demons that was chasing and and, and hunting you down um they're now you know at bay because you you've created a boundary you've said created that circle of protection for yourselves so these enemies entities energies cannot cannot um attack and we see here, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So if there are people trying to attack you, you have this fiery, you know, impenetrable wall of protection. And they're sitting here stuck in awe looking. So this is like you, like at high alert, guarded, you know, like that wounded warrior, but very protective of your energy. Someone who was trying to keep someone stuck, stagnant, trying to keep them contained. You know what I'm saying? Like this is really demonic energy. This is really something that has, um, and this looks like that same face. So see that face right there? And this is on the card of your person. And this that is the same face because there's an eye on this head here. So this is that same face. So whoever this person was with, the person that you're attracting, which is your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, your cosmic companion, your spiritual union, partner, your kindred spirit. This person was being contained, which means somebody was doing some sort of love spells on that ass. Somebody was doing something to keep them stuck with them. And I'm hearing like somebody could have been doing like because um, I'm picking up, you know, um, witches brew, but I'm also picking up some sort of like um, some binding ritual. Somebody was doing a binding ritual containing somebody's stuff in, in some sort of um, in a container, like putting like parts of somebody's hair or maybe some clothing and burying it, keeping them put so that they won't leave, you know. And this was somebody that they was living with because this is the same energy. I never noticed that until just now. So the same energy has been keeping this this person stuck, you know, and whoever you're attracting. I feel like they realize that because this ten of swords becomes the ace of swords. And so that's when they start cutting themselves free and realizing you know, and maybe they're, they're, they know somebody's toxic for them. So just like they say, you know, you could you could catch a bee with honey opposed to vinegar. So they're, they're playing sweet. You know, they're being sweet until they find their way free, until they find their exit. But they, they've come to realize they were sleeping with the enemy and um, and somebody has been trying to keep them confound stuck. And this right here, this is the uh, five of pentacles. So whoever was left out in the cold. It's like you were able to break yourself free from something because you see how all these people, this is like group think. And then there's the demons like kind of moving, you know, um, kind of like instructing and, and um, you know, kind of instructing these lost souls to just go in that direction. Whereas you broke free 
and you were able to see because you are on the outside looking in now. So now this five of pentacles, you know, this was like a blessing in disguise. Someone leaving you um, led to you breaking free from some sort of illusion. You know, this is an illusion. These people are all group think they're all hooded, which means they're all like masked. You know, they're all in some sort of entrapment, you know, and we have right now can't be wasting my time. So, you know, many of you were in partnerships and relationships and you thought it was leading to marriage, but it really wasn't leading anyway because you was dealing with somebody who was trying to control you and your actions, the finances, everything that was happening within the relationship. And then you broke free. You know, maybe some of you were dealing with, you know, addictions, you know, maybe there was some sort of addictions or afflictions, but it's like breaking free has broken some sort of yoke. And now you could see clearly what is happening. Somebody is being controlled by their demons. You know, their demons are controlling them. Or maybe there's some incubus succubus energy and it wasted a lot of your time. You feel like it wasted a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. But you've survived. You know, five is about, you know, looking back in hindsight, you know, reflecting on the past, you know, and also knowing that there's a need for change. There's a need for um, something to um while wow. yeah for something to change so we have the chariot here and so this is that energy of moving forward powerfully assertively because remember we had shy so someone could have been shy before but now they're not anymore because this chariot is coming in very confidently passionately powerfully and right underneath that is the ace of pentacles again so this is that person coming in now with the confidence to to you know, they don't want to waste your time this time because you you're already on. You ain't coming in to waste my time. You ain't dealing with nobody that's coming in to waste your time because you ain't got that type of time. You know what I'm saying? You looking at time like that's currency right in about now. So if this person knows that they're going to have to rush in and they're going to have to rush in with the right intentions, the right motives. And they're coming in to offer something real and tangible. This is a commitment. This is giving you a ring. This is giving you something that is going to be happily ever after that type of vibration and energy. Um. So let's get the, um, and I just had to expound on that because I wanted you to see that. So next, we're going to use the African, African American tarot. All right. Bottom of the deck. Stop playing. You got the king of cups now. So you had the queen of cups, which was on the, um, the end. This is the, um, the outcome rather. So the love partnership, someone realizing they're smitten, bitten by the smitten bug, um, that they're not coming in to waste your time this time because they know you mean what you say and you're saying what you mean. You're all about healthy relationships. Um, this is also you getting karma dharma. So the seeds you have planted are now sowing uh, because you've sowed in good faith. So it's like you're setting intention and you're manifesting your dreams in hopes and desires uh, because now you're trusting logic over heart. You know, you're making head over heart decisions um and anybody that was trying to play you for boo boo the fool off with their head wu-tang style protect that neck and so now you got this king of cups look at this big old smile you know the king of cups is usually depicted as someone that's very bashful you know not even bashful that's the wrong word but very reserved they don't want to let the left know what their right hand is doing so they will kind of be looking at you but not letting you know they're looking at you but this person is like looking at you and smiling and they're also you know they have this something tangible that they want to offer there can be distance between you and this person or there can be some sense of travel necessary to see this person but this is um someone that's absolutely could potentially be a cancer because you got the chariot and then you have the I mean, you have the uh, king of cups and then you have the moon. And then we also have that chariot there. So you could be, you know, manifesting somebody that's also a water sign because there's a lot of, you know, um, water coming out in certain instances of the reading. But this is someone uh, that has a lot of love. And I feel like you bring joy, you bring happiness, you bring peace. Um, and this is not somebody coming in to waste your time. It's like, you know, whatever cloudiness, whatever confusion they may have had, it's like those clouds have dissipated and the sun is shining bright. So it's like they now see things clearly. And this is the same energy that was here. Remember, the sun showed um, when I was clarifying um, the um, with the um, what is this card called? The, the dark grimoire. So this is a very sunny, bright card. And so it's like this person really sees you um, as, you know, their twin flame, their divine feminine, divine masculine, because this is the suit to the queen of cups. And this is from two separate, you know, um, decks. And so this person dreams about you a lot. It says, I'm dreaming. 
Um, so this person does dream about you a lot. And that could be why this moon is here. Because they have a lot of dream activity. They think about you a lot. And you could be picking up on this person's energy, um, you know, intuitively as well. So let's go ahead, cut the deck. So we look at this. Queen of Pentacles. See that? So you've turned your back on somebody that may have left you out in the cold and you have rebuilt. You know what I'm saying? You have regrouped. You have found your, your stability, your security, your independence. You know, look at this. The Ten of Cups. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles. This is you. The divine is aligning you. Didn't I say that your ancestors was conspiring behind the scenes? Your angels were conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into some sort of Ten of Pentacles. This is emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. This is the epitome of happy house, happy spouse. This is that happy family, the trinity, you know, man, woman, and child. You know what I'm saying? So this is literally what you are manifesting. And I feel you're manifesting it because it says manifest that shit here for what's hidden in the energy. So even though many of you were abandoned, left out in the cold, somebody left you to go tend to someone else. And, um, you know, now there's this this, you know, regret and remorse. But it's like you had to pick yourself up from the bootstraps. And, and you persevered through whatever that was that was meant to, you know, they, they thought they left you for dead and you survived. You know, see that? As soon as I said they left you for dead, you survived. There goes the three of swords. So this is somebody that really broke your heart, you know, really intentionally too, you know. And, and now they dream about it. There's shame. There's remorse. There's a lot of shame and remorse. You guys recovered tremendously. And look at this, the two of cups. Somebody's coming in to, to heal that broken heart, you know to mend that broken heart. And this is someone completely different. This last person was very callous, very careless, very uh, manipulative. And I definitely feel like with this, you know, the two of cups, you know, I, all I see here are couples, you know, it's just, it's very beautiful because this this duality. So it's like somebody's coming in to give you, you know, their cup of love. And because you've worked on yourself and it's 11, 11 on the clock again, as I'm speaking about this, it's 1156. And I just want to show you again, just so you know that I'm not, you know, I don't just talk because I have lips. I like to show and prove. So 1156. So there's absolutely a twin flame, a divine counterpart that you are attracting. And I feel like this person is coming because you've had to heal from dealing with someone that was very callous with your heart. And the person that's coming in has been taking their time because they want to get it right. But this is absolutely somebody that's coming in to bring fulfillment. This is the Ten of Cups. We saw the Ten of Pentacles. Now we see the Ten of Cups. So this person means business. They mean what they really feel. This is somebody that's truly, truly invested. And this is somebody that dreams about you often, apparently, because we have Christopher Williams um, um, dreaming. And they could be dreaming t to the point where they don't want to be awakened because the dream feels so real. Or maybe you're having those type of lucid dreams. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So this is the energy of like healing, recovering, but you're moving forward, upward and onward. Somebody's trying to get you to come backwards. You know, they're trying to get you to come back down the stairs and go and entangle yourself with them. But you got to stay mindful because this is that person that was, you know, probably trying to, um, you know, trying to distract someone from coming towards what they want, you know, because we have forgiveness here. So somebody's really coming after you. Maybe there were some some secrets and lies that were exposed. But someone realizes you make them happy that you bring some sort of fulfillment. This person dreams about you a lot, you know, and with this four of swords, maybe this person is wanting to come and, and you know, they, they're wanting to, you know, um, I feel like, you know, they're wanting to have this discussion, you know, because you see these two people up at the top and they want the relationship to, to move upward. Like they they want it to grow, you know, and this is somebody that's like he's dressed like a king, you know like an emperor, you know, so this is someone definitely, uh, I feel that has been growing, that has been, um, maturing, you know, they dream about you a lot. This person dreams about you a lot, you know, and, um, maybe that's why, you know, they're, they're having this, this, this epiphany that, you know, they may need to communicate, um, how they feel, you know, they need to ask for your forgiveness. Um, they need to come in and apologize. Their intuition is telling them this, you know, because this 96 reduces to 15. That's six. That's the six. You know, the sixth chakra is the first eye, you know, so their intuition, they're trusting their intuition. And I feel like they're going to take those necessary steps to to heal this connection, to apologize uh, because they're dreaming about you a lot and, and you do make them happy. 
This is something they cannot deny. Even if they try to deny it, they can't deny it. They really want to have a conversation and they really want to communicate how they feel and what they feel and that they love you. Um, and there goes the, um, who is this? Oh, this is temperance. So this is, um, you know, this is your energy, um, you know, where somebody is waiting on divine timing, you know, uh, divine timing was of the essence. You know, there was obviously uh, some things that were out of balance that needed to be balanced out that needed to, um, you know, be be brought back into harmony. And so I feel like, you know, this is, you know, the process, you know, releasing, you know, some of those you know, belief systems, ideologies, maybe behaviors and some of the, you know, habits that they had, you know, where they weren't emoting or expressing or communicating. Um, this person definitely wants to sex you up. They feel very, very um, sexually attracted to you, very passionate um, for you because we have um, color me bad. And this is um, I want to sex you up. So this person does want to sex you up. But I feel like in divine timing, something is going to happen. We got the four of cups here. So maybe this person is feeling like they may have missed an opportunity because they was being foolish. Um, this was somebody not really calculating risks, thinking, like I said, you was going to always be there. You was going to always be there to to entertain them, to stroke their ego, to, you know, maybe you were the chaser, you know, and you stopped. So why is effort? You need a woosah, the Ten of Swords here for the person Scorpios attracting and how they feel about our beloved Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. And so we have the Six of Wands. See that? So this person does feel passion for you, as I said. There's a lot of lustful energy. This person feels very lustful towards you. And this is something they've been hiding. This is this. Oh, this is the Six of Swords, pardon me. So this is really like, you know, they're still hiding this, but they want to communicate that, you know. They want to communicate this attraction. They want to communicate uh, some form of an apology because you got the four of swords, the six of swords. So it's as if this person is really growing impatient, you know, because we had, um, you know, come and talk to me. And then we also had, you know, one more chance by Notorious B.I.G. So this person knows they're running out of chances because you're very protective of your energy, very guarded. You see how this person has like this, this shield between him and this person. So it's like there's a block, there's a shield, there's a protective bubble there. Um, and and you, you know your worth and value. That's why you moved away from that toxic energy to begin with. And so this person feels like you may have moved away, but they're also watching. You know, I get a sense of like this is just like them watching, studying, learning and seeing, you know, how much you've changed. And because you appear to be very royal, you know, you appear to be very regal. This person knows when they come in, they're going to have to court you. You know, they're going to have to put their best foot forward if they wish to, you know, get you to forgive them or to, you know, to reconcile uh, because, you know, your worth now. Look how strong you're standing on your square, you know, perpendicular in that square. Look how powerful you're standing because you have that confidence, that that sense of strength. You have a sense of strength, courage and even wise dome. You know what I'm saying? And you've put that work, that time, that effort into it. Um and so this is how this person sees you. And so with this Ace of Pentacles, that's why they want to offer you something real and tangible. You know, um, they see you as very stable, very self-sufficient, very independent, very self-reliant, very financially stable. Um, you don't need or want for anything because remember, we had that nine of Pentacles that showed up. So this is just, you know, them seeing you as someone that has like that pre empress, like, you know, you already got nine Pentacles on your own and then bringing this Ace of Pentacles brings the 10 of Pentacles that we saw. And so that means this person sees, you know, uh, an investment in you. They see this connection building and growing. Um, and this is a part of your karma. You know, you reap what you sow, you know, and I feel like you sowed in good faith. You were very positive. You were very, um, you know, very mindful to trust your intuition, your inner gumption um, when it came to taking certain um, action. Um, and you made sure to always remain balanced when making those decisions um, to act out of a place of love opposed to malice or scornfulness or vindictiveness or anger. You know, you, you knew to be healthy, to remain balanced. And that's why justice is here, because things were handled fairly and justly for you. 
You know, what you put into the universe, you're going to get back. That's the laws of the universe. That's universal law of karma. And so we have here Ace of Pentacles, blessings, wish fulfillment, answered prayers, miracles taking place, financial freedom, success, stability, that bright future. Lakshmi was um, um, not Lakshmi, but um, um, that bright future that I pulled out, you know, infinite supply, you know, just you having that success, that stability and that overall abundance. That was the card. It was an abundance card if I'm not mistaken uh, I don't see it now but I saw abundance earlier I know I did and so now you're here um, you know with this ace of pentacles this could be a new job offer you know somebody could be offering you a new position this is the second time we saw that ace of pentacles so I absolutely feel somebody's going to be you know offering they're going to extend some sort of offer generous offer give you you know like that's like an engagement you know proposal so why? And I remember I said that somebody's going to come in and be, you know, they're going to court you. You know, they're going to be very chivalrous. They're going to gift you with things now just because because they feel, you know, they want you to know they love you. You know. They know your love language. So why is why is um, physical activity be healthy and justice here for my beloved Scorpio's for how this person feels? And look at that. The Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. They feel you fulfill them emotionally. Look at this. And this came out in reverse. But this Ten of Wands. So this is how they th this is why they feel that you're now coming into some sort of wish fulfillment, because now you, you're kind of like, you know, your worth and value. So now you're releasing all these burdens. You know, you're unburdening yourself. You become wiser. You know, you realize that people have to carry their own loads. You can't you can't be, you know, everything to everyone. You got to prioritize your needs first and foremost. You got to take care of you. So you're now focused on creating and developing and cultivating healthy relationships with people where there's equal exchange of give and take, where there is reciprocity, you know, where you feel loved. We have SWV and Michael Jackson. This is called right here. So it's like right here, right now, you're, you're ending. This is the end of a cycle. This is the end of you um, giving of yourself constantly and not receiving. You're now realizing your worth and your value. Spirit is bringing you back into balance, back into harmony. This is the end of you carrying the burdens or feeling overburdened, overwhelmed, underwhelmed at the same time. But the brand new beginning that you have been praying for, hoping for, and wishing for. Because that Ten of Wands becomes the one. So now you're going to have a passionate and powerful new start. And I feel like with all of the wisdom, the wisdom you've obtained throughout this journey, it's like you're going to attract nothing but the best. You've learned to be the master manifester. You've learned to be the co-creators. You've learned to utilize as above, so below, as within, so without. You've learned because you're aware now of your abilities, of your talents, of your gifts, your skills. You may have come into um, that grand epiphany as to what your soul's purpose is. I feel like now you're manifesting real love, true love, because you know what it feels like to not have love, to not be loved. So now that you've persevered from something very toxic, you know, something that was very one sided, something that threw you off equilibrium, made you feel devalued. Now you're manifesting something better, something that absolutely is going to speak your love language, someone that's going to speak your love language. And this person is being sent to you. Mama Oya is bringing this blessing through. This is the change, the transformation, your prayers being answered. And this is bringing happier days, brighter days. This rainbow, it turns into a snake. So the snakes deal with transformish, transformation. It gets rid of the old and brings in the new. So there's new love. You're releasing the old, the old love, the old versions of you, the old understandings of love. You know, the old perspectives of love and you're, you know, you're ushering in this new perspective, this new vantage point. Your ancestors are showering you with something that you have absolutely manifested because you've become wiser in this process. You know, and you've cut off the head of anybody that tried to play you for boo-boo the fool. You're not even giving them the opportunity to speak to you no more. You've cut them off, cut them out of your life. And we have on um, Aaron Hall, don't be afraid. So when this new love comes in, be open, be receptive, surrender to it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't run away from it. Don't block it, you know, because this queen of swords can be very cold. You know, she can block out things because of, you know, fear of being hurt. But the divine is saying, don't be afraid because we have Aaron Hall saying, and don't be afraid. You got the Ten of Cups here. So this is real love, true love. So why is four perseverance manifest that shit? The Fool and the Queen of Swords here for what's hidden in the energy. See that? The star, wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. This is what you've manifested. You are the alchemist. You are the magi. As above, so below. That's what she's saying. As above, so below. 
as within, so without. You've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower by you healing, you know, healing from past pains, traumas, releasing, purifying, clean, clearing, cleansing, spiritual baths, blocking out what no longer serves your highest good, cutting out those things that were taking advantage, using you, exploiting you. You weren't afraid. You approached it. You healed. You confronted everything head on. You knew whatever wasn't growing was dead. And it was time for you to stand perpendicular in your square to ask for what you wanted. This is you being in a very powerful position. You realize that you had to turn your vulnerabilities into a superpower. And even though this bear, you know, you bared your soul, your spirit, your, your heart to someone, they took that and stomped on it. But it didn't break you. I feel what it did was it, it, it grounded you, it centered you, and it made you realize that you have to love yourself first. Self-love makes you more attractive. So you started to heal from those inner pains, wounds, traumas, from toxic relationships, karmic connections. You've had to, you know, also like, you know, clear up some karmic debt potentially. And you've done just that. And so now you're at the top of this, this, this mountain here. You've reached the peak of the mountain, which means that you are closer to, you know, all of that celestial energy that you pray to. You know, you send up prayers and petitions into the ethers. And now it's like you can literally reach out and touch it because your wish fulfillment is here. And so you, 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 you weren't fearful. You were fearless in this process. I feel like you trusted. You remained hopeful, optimistic. You knew that you could have the outcome you deserved because absolutely you knew your worth and your value. You knew it was your birthright to have absolutely what you wanted. And that's what you focused on. This is you focusing on being the co-creator that you knew you were. And that's how you're manifesting the desired outcome because you know you got the power. You have the awareness of the power you possess and as does everyone else. So you're now radiating the sense of strength, courage, wisdom, beauty. You know, this is like unapologetic beauty, strength. And you're being you unapologetically because you're naked. You're like, if you don't like it, turn your head. I love me. I love my body. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody was being body shamed and you overcame that, you know, and you overcame that. I heard body shame. So we got the Ten of Cups still on the bottom of the deck. So you feel very emotionally fulfilled. And that's what this green card represents. This is how much you've grown. You had to heal thyself. This is the epitome of that. The star card represents healing. You know, that represents purification. That's a spiritual bath. That's a cleanse. That's a purge. That's a release. And that's cutting whatever doesn't serve your highest good. And you being fearless in doing so. Because we got don't be afraid. And so the Ten of Cups now wish fulfillment can pour in. Now love can come through. Everything you've been asking for now can make its way to you. So why is love partnerships? I want to get to know you better. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the Queen of Cups here for what's in the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. We have a message of love and light. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck. Chariot is coming. It's the second time the chariot showed up. So somebody is rushing in and they're coming in hot and heavy. They're not afraid anymore. If they was afraid before, baby, spirit is telling them, don't be afraid because Scorpio is going to absolutely come. They're going to accept you. You got the tower here. So there's going to be a sudden upheaval, a sudden, um, you know, this is like a, a unexpected, you know, and this could be because the, the chariot is here on the bottom of the deck. This could just be somebody coming in um, quickly. You know, coming in unexpectedly. There's a change of events. You know, there's a change. Something is taking place. You know what I'm saying? But this is the death. Every death, you know, is, is uh, you know, almost a rebirth for Scorpio. So you don't shy from the tower. You know, if anything, you encourage it. You, you, um, you welcome it. Because if there's disillusionment, if there's lies, if there's deception, if there's anything that you're unaware of, the divine is, is striking that tower to bring you into awareness, to let you know what's going on. So this tower, whatever this is, I feel like because you have no weapon formed against me shall prosper, you're protected from it. And I feel like in many ways it's, it's protecting you or it's bringing something. It's like, you know, because the tower, the way it's depicted here is it's not necessarily a tower. It's more so like, you know, this, this um, skull, this, shell, this zombie, um, you know, something is being washed away with the water. So this is like the cleansing. You know, this is the deep cleansing, you know, the deep healing that is necessary because of the toxic entanglements. So this tower is really like a cleansing. But I feel with those thunder, you know, the, the lightning, you know, this communication, 
and there's communication coming in because somebody wants to apologize, but they also want to um, get reacclimated, reintroduced to you, you know, and I feel like this person feels very, they feel very, um, they feel like they have to hurry up. It's now or never almost because remember we had um, one more chance by Notorious B.I.G. And that's why this person feels like they got to hurry up. They got to rush. And, and, and this this tornado um, is also giving me, again, that illusion because this is air. You know, all of this would be like considered air with the, the lightning. You know what I'm saying? So this could just be speaking to communication, unexpected communication. And this is going to lead to like, you know, maybe some, you know, some feelings, you know, maybe uh, unearthed within you. And we got soul for real. Um, so this is your soulmate for real. This is that person that you may feel have gotten away, that twin flame that you can't stop thinking about or vice versa. It's like they, they know if they want it, they got to come and get it. And that's why they're rushing in and they're waving this sword. It's very rare that you see, you know, the, the chariot with a sword in their hand. So remember, I was picking up like the communication is just going to be unexpected because I was picking up like this tornado that's air. And then you see this lightning. So there's some sort of unexpected communication. And I say that because she's waving like um, the sword. So there's communication. Somebody feels the confidence, you know, they feel ready, they feel prepared and they feel encouraged to to come and speak to you. And I feel like this is going to um, this is going to lead to a love connection, I feel, because I do feel this is a spiritual connection. Let me get one more message for a love partnership. I want to get to know you better. Look at that. I knew there was another message for y'all and the sun. The sun came out. So I felt like this was going to be a positive thing. And divine confirmed that for me. The sun is here. So this is absolutely that person that realizes you are the sunshine in their life, that you bring joy, happiness, peace into their lives. And if they want it, they know they're going to have to come and get it because they know that they only have one more chance. This person is chasing after you. You know, this is somebody that you may have known when you were a child or when you were younger um, this is absolutely almost like that lover's energy, you know, as well, because remember, we had forgiveness. So this is somebody that realizes that they want your forgiveness because they want to um, they want to be with you, you know, and they want you. And you're saying, like, if you want it, come and get it. If you want me, come get me. Come show me because I'm not I'm not making no first moves. Look at that. That's the ace of wands. This person got a whole lot of passion. This is a passionate new start. And this beautiful tree represents the tree of life. So this is you and this person building that family, that nucleus and building roots. I feel like you already have roots with this person, to be honest with you. Like, that's why I was picking up. I felt like you already knew this person. There was some sort of history. You know, even if this was an acquaintance, somebody you live with, somebody you may have worked with in your past, somebody you may have lived around. But I feel like there's there's no communication. But when this communication comes in, it's going to be shocking. It's going to be really um, surprising. This person is going to surprise you with what they say. And this is somebody that really wants to heal this connection, grow this connection, extend an olive branch. You know, this is somebody that really, um, you know, you, you bring happiness, you bring joy. And they've had this illumination. And we have um, Nicole Ray. And this is called I Got What You Want. So this person got what you want now. Yep. See that? You got the, 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 um, the Ace of Wands. So they, they definitely, they feel very attracted to you too. Let's not get that twisted because remember we got sex you up and then we got the ace of wands. So there's a lot of sexual tension here. And there goes the lovers. I can't make this up. Is this the lovers? Let me see what this is. Yep, this is the lovers. See that? So the ace of wands, sexual attraction, tension, hiding their feelings and their emotions, desiring you, sending you messages telepathically, dreaming of you. Remember we had dreaming of you, Christopher Wallace. Or Williams, pardon me, Christopher Wallace is notorious B.I.G. But this is what they've been hiding. And so they're sending you messages intuitively, telepathically. This is something they've been hiding, the passion, the love. You got the lovers here. And I was telling you that this was giving me the vibration of the lovers because that six, that 15 reduces the six. Six is the lovers. That's the six. Um, you know, the lovers is the sixth card in traditional tarot. So this person does feel this love. They feel there's a spiritual union. And I feel your ancestors, as I said, are conspiring you so that the two of you could come into alignment. You know, this is a cosmic connection. This is almost giving me like past life connection, too. You know, there's been a lot of struggle, a lot of difficulties. Um, you know, it's been a lot coming in between this union, but I feel the love, the, the, the connection in and of itself is what's, um, is absolutely what's bringing the two of you together. So that's beautiful. 
That's beautiful. So Scorpios. All right, let me get one more, a couple of more messages. Spirit is telling me get a couple more messages from, we're going to pull some messages from the angel romance deck. Let's see what we got. And so we got, I got what you want. So this person now knows what you like because they've been studying you, watching you. They know your love language because now that's theirs, you know. Um, and so they're going to come in and give it to you. Look at this passion. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. I told you somebody had a lot of passion because we saw this ace of wands. So this is lust, passion, fire, desire. It's intensifying, growing, building with time. Look at this. Make the effort. Didn't I tell you somebody did not make the effort in the past? And so this time around, they're going to come back. They're going to make the effort. They're going to lay it on thick, baby. They're going to court you. They're going to gift you with things. They're going to let you know they care by communicating. You know, this is somebody that's going to be willing to be more open to their feelings, to emoting, to expressing, to communicating. That's beautiful. So Divine Spirit, 11 Light. And we're just going to pull um, one card from Romance Angels. I heard two. They said pull two. So I'll pull two. Two for duality, yin yang, I got you. So see that, children. So it says children. It says your love life is being affected by children. So maybe somebody was in a relationship feeling obligated because they had children with someone. And that could be why they could have stayed where they were or chose what option they chose, which, may, which meant that they didn't choose you, which meant that they ghosted you or whatever it is. Maybe somebody lied about children. Maybe you have children and that's a factor or maybe that somebody couldn't accept you for it because of children or maybe somebody was just straight up acting like a child. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody was really just acting very childish and you were healing your inner child. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're now healing their inner child. But there was definitely you were loyal to someone. You know what I'm saying? You were very loyal. And I feel like this loyalty is something that this person also um, acknowledges. Because I see there's two um, two dogs and then there's a puppy in her hand. So it's like you really like, I feel like you were very um, loyal to someone. Yeah, you were very loyal to, to someone and we got worth waiting for. And now we got Tony, 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 just me and you. And it says divine timing is at work in your love life. So with children, maybe you have a child, maybe somebody has a child. Uh, but that was a factor. Maybe you were healing an inner child. Maybe this person was acting childish. Maybe somebody didn't want to share you um, with children. You know, maybe somebody didn't want to get into a relationship with someone who had children because it says just me and you. Maybe they thought they just wanted to be with somebody who didn't have children. Or if they did have children, they wanted to be the father of the child. I don't know. It says children. And then we got just me and you. So I'm getting a strong sense that somebody didn't accept someone's child or maybe, as I said prior, you know, somebody was healing their inner child or somebody could have been just acting childish. But divine timing worth waiting for. So whatever you was waiting for, I feel like it's it's here now. You know, good things take time to create. So it's very important, you know, to use that time. Remember, we had temperance and that's all about divine timing. And that was the energy that was showing up for your person. When I was um, speaking on, you know, your person's energy. And so they were in that temperance energy where they were, you know, kind of like healing themselves. So we got trust. So it says trust. And it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So trust the process. Just me and you. And then you got calling in your soulmate. And it says your prayers, affirmations and visualizations have um, helped bring you together. So, yeah. See this? Manifest that shit. This is what you're doing. You're calling in your soulmate. You're calling in your twin flame. I feel they're also mirroring you in that regard. You know, I feel like this person absolutely sees you as wish fulfillment. They see you as their divine feminine, divine masculine. And this is somebody that absolutely cannot see themselves with no one else but you. Because we got just me and you. Let me get, why is this children here? Can we get one more card for the children? Why is children here? Why is children? Thank you, spirit. And it says healing family issues. See, so somebody had a child with someone else and they were going through a karmic lesson 
you know, with the mother or the father of their child. Maybe they felt obligated to stay in a relationship because of children. Maybe somebody's healing their inner child because maybe they had an estranged relationship with the mother or their father, with their mother or their father. Maybe they had abandonment issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So someone had a very estranged relationship with the mother or their father. And so they could have learned a lot of things during their developmental years um, about love, about relationships, trust, you know, feeling secure and safe. And so maybe that's what somebody has been doing is trying healing their inner child, you know, because they went through something um, very traumatic, you know, in their childhood. And so they're healing from that. Thank you, spirit, for that. And so the bottom of the deck calling in your soulmate. So you've been calling in your soulmate. The more you do your work, I feel both of you are calling one another in because there's a feminine and a masculine. And I feel just as I said before, this is a spiritual, spiritually protected union. So you are meant to be with this person. And I feel like the towers that are taking place, I feel like, you know, whatever's taking place is meant to take place so as to clear out because this tower is depicted with water, you know, like an ocean, a river. You know, there's this like water, this deep cleansing, this deep release, this purge. So that's what's taking place right now is somebody's going through a, a, a cleansing, a healing, you know. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that Lakshmi bright future so this is what you have you're assured that your future is going to be bright that things are going to look up for you that you're going to be very satisfied everything that you could be worrying about right now mama lakshmi is telling you stop worrying because everything is taking place exactly the way it's meant to it divine timing trust the process you are the alchemist you are the magi you are the sorceress you are the high priestess the high priest you are the psychic the oracle you are the manifester, the master manifester. Someone feels weak around you. We got Mother Earth here. Didn't I say someone may see you as like Mother Earth, very earthy, very down to earth. You just you love your crystals. You love your oils. You love, you know, your sound baths. You love grounding yourself. There goes the high priestess. Can't make this up. You know, true love is coming in. Stop fronting, Scorpios. You don't need this reading. You just like to hear me talk. Stop front. You know what's coming. Because you've been manifesting it. It already says here that you manifesting it. And we see that clearly because the alchemist, the star. So you are manifesting this true love, this real love. You're manifesting somebody and you, you, you like somebody is weak for you. Like this is somebody that is like really they feel weak. You know, they feel this this uh, this pull, this this power, this connection is like it makes them weak. It renders them, you know, weak. <laughs> feel weak in your presence you do something to him you just do it to him baby then and this says i get so weak in the knees so that's what you know remember earlier we had shy so i feel like somebody was really shy in your presence like you really intimidate somebody you know just your confidence your beauty you know you stand you're you unapologetically you know like i said you you just embrace your womanhood your masculinity or your manhood and you're just you you know, and, and it could throw some people off, but other people, they're re like really intrigued, perhaps by that. So let's see, get a couple more shuffles and then we're going to wrap it up. Clarify this message. All right, beloveds, let's see. So we're going to go, going to pull three cards for this as well. So the bottom of the deck, golden opportunities, baby. These opportunities, the floodgates are opening for you. Everything you've prayed for, wished for, asked for, hoped for, Mama Yemenya is saying, as it is, so mote it be, beloved. So mote it be. Ashe, she is granting those wishes. She is letting you know that things are going to be balanced out for you. High Priestess is here. You already know this because you manifested this. I can't make this up. And this is protection. Mama Yemenya is like the mother, the great mama, Umi. So she's protecting you. She's protecting your opportunities that you have coming in. And that's why you have no weapon formed against you shall prosper because these are your blessings. And so whoever's trying to block your blessings with help, with hate, jealousy, with defamation of character, gossiping and lying. It's like they, they're going to fall by the own, their own sword they're waging against you. But you, on the other hand, there's opportunities that are just pouring into you. It says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So it's time for you to walk through them. And you know this, you know. You know this. This is like a window of opportunity. Maybe this is your person's energy. You know, getting that download. Like, look, it's it's time. It's time, beloved. You you know, remember we had, you know, um, one more chance. 
So this is a golden opportunity for them to make their, their way. And they get so weak in the knees. They can hardly speak. They lose all control, just like SWV is saying. You knock them off of their feet. And maybe it's the boundaries, you know, because you did come in, you are coming off as this queen of swords. So that could be very intimidating. But that's why I told you, you got to surrender, relinquish control, you know, and be open, you know, to whatever it is you're manifesting. Because I feel like that door, that golden door, that opportunity is opening up. May I have another message? Thank you. I love this. See, you've transformed. This is you transforming, startling metamorphosis, experiencing major change. You know what I'm saying? And this is like wish fulfillment, blessings coming in. All of the hard work and effort that you've put in, it's like the divine is blessing you. Blessing you. There's blessings coming in. Opportunities, wish fulfillment, miracles, answered prayers. And it's because you've done the work and you focused on the love and the light. You showed compassion and kindness. Thank you, spirit. See that? Create a sacred space. Connect to your higher self, your angels, ancestors. Develop a relationship. That's what you've all done. I feel like you all have sacred spaces. You may have altars or you may have a sacred space that you go to out in nature. Maybe it's a body of water. Maybe it's a lake. Maybe it's just a beautiful grassy area that encompasses everything. And you just like to go there and just release. You perform release rituals there. You may ground yourself there. But there's a whole lot of downloads that come through. And I feel it allows you to connect and develop a very strong connection with your ancestors. We got guiding children. So many of you have been like healing your inner child. And maybe some of you by healing your inner child, you've triggered and activated someone else to kind of do their own internal work. You know, to start healing from their own um, childhood traumas. Maybe you all are mothers and you're helping your children, you know, heal from their traumas and go through whatever battles they may be fighting. You know, but I feel a strong sense of you all really being in a space where you are seen as like um, healers, counselors. You know, you may have taken some classes in counseling. You could be a social worker. You could be a teacher in a school. You could be, you know, a, a psychologist. Maybe you help people that you do self-help. Um, self-help classes. And we have Jodeci Stay. So somebody's trying to get somebody to stay with them. And we know that because we saw this energy here. And remember, this is the energy that your person was dealing with because these are dual energy. This is the same demonic energy. Somebody's trying to keep somebody stuck and contained. It doesn't matter if it's feminine or masculine inside of this contain, um, containment or this container. Excuse me. It's still somebody trying to keep them stuck. And this is somebody that, you know, wants to keep them in the house, keep them put but I do feel like, you know, ultimately they're going to break themselves free. They're going to break themselves free and they're going to move on and away, you know, away from that energy, man, because that's very toxic energy. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. You absolutely have a, a twin flame. There's no doubt about it. You've manifested something and what you've manifested, you've managed to manifest someone coming into your life that is going to speak your love language. That's going to be attentive and affectionate and all of the aforementioned, like they're just going to be very attentive to you and very giving. Um, and I feel more importantly that this person may reach out to you um, and it may surprise you. It may be shocking, you know, to, to get a message from this person. Um, but I feel like the, the intentions behind the conversation is really to heal and really to, you know, to seek your forgiveness, um, to apologize. I feel like somebody wants to apologize to you. Um, and I do feel like somebody wants to stay in your good graces or they would like to position themselves in your good graces. Like they don't want to be your enemy. Um, but I also feel this is a spiritual union, a twin flame. Um, this is someone that you, uh, may have already met. And if you didn't meet them and you, when you do meet them, I feel like you will feel like you've known them already. And it's because it's a twin flame or a past life connection. Um, this is a very, very strong and synergetic uh, chemistry you share with this person. Um, and I feel like this person has learned a great deal, a great deal uh, by you creating a boundary. Um, they've learned to, to, to treat you better. Um, they've learned to show up in relationships better. Um, they've done a lot of work on themselves. 
Um, and I really feel like this person wants to uh, to come towards you and rebuild your trust uh, because I do feel like trust was uh, something that that was lacking in this connection. And we know that because we saw um, you ain't got to lack, right, in the beginning of the reading. So it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So you do have to open up. You have to trust the process, um, relinquish any judgment of anyone, like really just show compassion and focus on the love and light. And I feel like, you know, this can really help to move the situation along because this is happening in divine timing. And I feel like the factor of this situation is just you putting your guard down, putting your boundaries down because you're very guarded. You got your sword up. So you're ready to swing, you know, you're ready to like, you know, cut off anybody's neck head. And it's because, you know, you felt like in the past people, you know, they, they kind of took you for granted, exploited your kindness your, and played you for boo boo And you just you, you're really you, you, you're you upset by it. But it's like this time around, you like ain't nobody going to get me. And the divine wants you to not be so much in that energy, but be more so in the energy of reciprocity, you know, of 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 um, receiving, being receptive Um you know, um, being open, you know, open minded, open hearted uh, so that this wish fulfillment, this manifestation of love can actually come in, you know, because that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're looking for, because um, that's what the cards are saying. You know, for those that this applies to for everybody else that's not looking for it, this may not be your reading. But um, this is definitely a beautiful reading, beloved Scorpios. Y'all have something coming in that is very beautiful. Um, I am strongly feeling like. Um, something can be rekindled here. Um, I feel like your transformation, you know, cause remember we got this 13, we got the 67, your person had the number 13, but then you bust out the number 67, which is also 13. So that's that mirroring that, you know, twin flames always have. But I feel like with this physical activity, it's showing just how active, you know, you, you really put a lot of work into, um, transforming and into, you know, implementing these enormous changes that you're now experiencing. And, you know, that's making you hot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's making you hot. That's making you uh, a commodity. You know, um, there's a lot of people that got their eyes on you. Also, a lot of people have witnessed this transformation. A lot of people have witnessed you, you know, transforming into, you know, someone that has their power, that has taken their power, earn, you know, owning their power. Um, and standing in their truth and and this can you know throw some folks off or this can you know cause folks to become attracted and intrigued and whereas other people become jealous and envious so it's like you have both sides of the spectrum um because you see here on the side gray gloomy and then over here you see the stars so it's like you got folks that you know it's, it's like both sides of the spectrum sort of where you got people that are congratulating you and applauding you and then you have people who are trying to you know trying to prey on your downfall and set you up and that's making them really hot they're very angry uh because of your transformation and your growth and because you left them in the dust you kept it pushing and you didn't look back and you're not going to because you're moving upward and onward um with your life just as this card is showing here you're moving upward and onward you know um so this is your reading, beloved Scorpios, for the third time. I hope the message has resonated. Um, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat out. Shay, peace.